Hello everybody, I am uh, Dr. Leonardo Barilaro, the space pianist, and uh, welcome to the second uh, streaming event uh, for uh, the Astrobit uh, space mission. Astrobit is an innovative uh, experiment that uh, is uh, testing uh, a new technique to repair uh, spacecraft hulls damaged in orbit by impacts with uh, space debris and uh, is, as uh, with it also music. I am uh, the project leader both for uh, the scientific uh, and the artistic part uh, representing uh, MCAST, the Malta College for Arts, Science and Technologies uh, based in Malta. Such a pleasure to be here today. So yes, uh, I'm technical analyst for Voyager Space. Um, together here we have, as you would say, as you said, uh, Andy and Nicolas from the operation teams. So uh, Voyager Space basically is a company which promotes access to space and we can do it through our ISS facilities. We have both uh, internal and external facilities and for the internal facilities, we have the, the one where uh, Astrobit is hosted in right now and where operations are going to begin. Welcome to you all um, to, to this uh, presentation by Leonardo. Um, like I said, Oman, they were very happy to see uh, this work, which is being done in this area, both in terms of, of arts and also in terms of science, because of course we are the college, the Malta College of Arts, Science and Technology. So it is in line with, with what we do as an institution. Of course, this is our first project. Um, as a, a leader, I mean, because we also had another one where we were are collaborating, but this one is the first project as a leader where we are um, having this uh, experiment in space. And we uh, hope that uh, to receive good uh, results, both in the scientific field and of course, in the arts field and in the, in the music, which we are um, will be uh, listening today in this, uh, in this uh, live stream. Black Sun is uh, my composition uh, number four that uh, is uh, in space uh, and the sun will be premiered uh, from space. For Black Sun, uh, I wanted uh, to do uh, something different. And uh, together with uh, some uh, experimental techniques uh, with a piano, I also uh, took uh, some recordings done uh, by NASA of the sound of a black hole. And of course, the first comment that comes to mind is, uh, okay, Leonardo, but there isn't uh, sound in space. This is not completely true because uh, sound waves uh, are mechanical waves that uh, propagate, uh, for example, through air. This is uh, how our ear uh, can uh, detect sound. NASA recorded uh, the uh, mechanical waves created by the disturbances originated by a black hole to the surrounding uh, interstellar gas. This was uh, a very, very low sound, uh, several octaves below the uh, human uh, um, level perception, that was uh, transposed uh, to our audible range. I took those sounds uh, and uh, I morphed, uh, morphed them and uh, worked with them. And uh, here uh, you can see also the uh, beautiful uh, artwork done by an incredible artist uh, that is uh, uh, the one uh, that uh, I will uh, uh, introduce to you um, after uh, the streamings of uh, these uh, musical uh, compositions. Now, there is also something more. Black Sun will uh, be available uh, shortly after this streaming, but tomorrow there will be also the video clip of Black Sun that I developed in collaboration with uh, a, uh, an outstanding person, which is uh, Dr. Merit Moore. Merit uh, is uh, the so-called quantum ballerina. She is another polymath that uh, conjugates uh, science and art. In fact, she is a quantum physicist and a professional dancer that at uh, NYU is also a distinguished artist in residence and uh, uh, professor. So we had the opportunity to uh, combine our area of expertise uh, and I really can't wait tomorrow to show you the, um, the video that uh, uh, we will be premiering. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you, Leonardo. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everyone, wherever you are. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Leonardo for his uh, unbound generosity for uh, extending an invitation to NYU Abu Dhabi to be part of this project, uh, to launch the competition for the, um, for the students and to invite me to present a piece. Uh, I'm extremely grateful for that. The university is very grateful for that as well, Leonardo. Uh, of course, we're also grateful for the astronauts who are now on space, um, you know, pressing play on the um, on the on the recordings. Uh, the piece, uh, this piece goes like full circle because um, we I composed this in 2020 for a sci-fi animated forms play uh, that was about uh, space, that was about traveling in space. Uh, there was a story of these statues from corporate buildings that were feeling very lonely on Earth, and then they decided to just go uh, engaging on a trip across the universe uh, to find uh, new places to be. So it's about uh, courage, about resilience, about resistance, and this was done in the middle of the pandemic, and everybody was in isolation. So so the music kind of uh, portrays all these aspects of uh, isolation, of belief uh, in something good to happen. And then in the end, you know, the last movement is called The Saga Continues, Brian, which is actually dedicated to my friend Brian Waterman, who's watching the stream, um, okay. is uh, bringing uh, new hope uh, to everybody and to the world. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Summer Reed. Uh, I study music business at NYU Steinhardt, and I've been making music for about three years. And this is actually the first song that I made with the intention of release. And um, it's about uh, the first time I, was, I connected to like nature and my family on a family um, on a family reunion. I was trying to pull like these lily pads out of the water while me and my family were boating. And I realized that they were all connected at the root, like a very strong root. And I could either take it and kill it and separate it from its family or leave it there and let the system like continue and let the ecosystem grow because I was only there on vacation. And so I sort of wrote it about um, the power of understanding the importance of family and um, holding space for the people that are closest to you. Um, and the first, you know, it's inspired by nature. My name is Ndia Qabbani. I'm so excited <laughs> for the streaming of my song. Um, so a little bit about me. I am um, currently a lawyer in training, but I graduated from New York University in Bolabi with a double major in legal studies and music. Um, and a little bit about my piece, it was started off very experimental. I had the base of just the piano to begin with, and then I really wanted to sound uh, more ethereal and more uh, space-like, I guess. <laughs> and so I tried to incorporate synthesizers uh, into the piece, uh, along with some string instruments. And then with further development, I also decided to incorporate uh, a few other instruments to give it a bit of more uniqueness to it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I would like you to introduce yourself properly and to talk a bit about the creative process behind the amazing artwork you created for Black Sun. Hello everyone who is watching live. Uh, my name is Eris and uh, I'm based in Germany. I'm an architect and artist. So I so I'm the one who uh, wanted to bridge uh, art and science together, and my art mostly focused in um, emerging technologies and space uh, space exploration. And uh, the uh, and I aim to merge uh, facts and fictions together. And. My work is mostly uh, inspired by Japanese manga art and uh, also Leonardo da Vinci artwork. So if you can, if you see my work is mostly uh, influenced by their masterpiece. And, uh, and now I pull up your, uh, your artwork so, so people can see it again 
online. Okay, please. Uh, and then the, my, I also design like in my daytime, I'm an architect. I also design various projects from buildings and also uh, a space a spaceship design for some various uh, EU affiliation uh, such as TU Delft and ESA. Uh, and then my current work is uh, called Engines of Eternity. It's about a rotifer in sent up to inter International Space Station. Uh, we, we, start, we need to study the data of the processing of DNA. So I created a long piece of artwork uh, if you're interested, you can see uh, in my website or Instagram. Uh, yes, and then it was exhibited this year in ESA Open Day 2024. And yeah, I hope to inspire the, the next generation in terms of innovation and the wonders of the universe. Yeah, thank you. And then the about the artwork of uh, this black sun with together with professor leonardo uh yeah we, we thought about uh, a freedom to explore into space so it's like a vivid imagination about uh, humans which have uh, been in space for a very long time so she or he explore into the realm of unknown, and you can see the body of the humans is actually hand-drawn and with the imagination of uh, the, the spinal cord and everything is expanded because you are living so long in space. So, and then the wings represent the freedom for exploration into the unknown. Uh, yeah, this is uh, somehow the merge of uh, hand illustration and also some uh, computational aid into this piece of artwork. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks, Leonardo, for involving me. Involving me in this, um, you know, it was a very, uh, it was a big pleasure um, to listen to, you know, to the music comp compositions. It's not <laughs> um, every day that um, MCAST is involved in something like this. Um, on behalf of the research office, you know, we're very proud to be part of the project. You know, it was a pleasure supporting you. Uh, congratulations to everyone. Congre congratulations to uh, Nadine and Summer. Uh, you know, it's uh, beautiful uh, pieces of music. And and yes, I mean, we're looking forward to further collaborations, even though um, the, this project was, you know, as um, as you explained very well, you know, the project was quite challenging, you know, due to, due to the tight um, deadlines. And it's still not finished uh, uh, because we will have a uh, post flight analysis, but hopefully uh, yes, we will be able yes, to, uh, to brief a little bit better at least. Um, yes, so I mean, we look forward to more collaborations and, you know, uh, congr congratulations on your success. And I'm sure, you know, um, you, you'll have many, many great projects. <laughs> In the near future. Hello to everyone. For me, honestly, it was an honor to see. Uh, I mean, uh, this amazing team working together. I mean, uh, I'm very excited to see what uh, what will be the post process of all this data and all this information that you are gathering at the moment. And uh, for us, it was really an amazing experience. I mean, uh, looking at uh, this, uh, uh, let's say, super team working together, it's uh, something amazing as well. Uh, I believe that this experience uh, and this, this the, the, even the Let's say the capacity of uh, the capability of, of Leonardo to let's say to involve people from different disciplines, different uh, uh, branch of uh, sort of joining arts with uh, technology, with the science, with engineering. Uh, it's something very nice, and uh, his passion, I think, uh, managed to let's say to to involve so many different uh, aspects 
over the space. As he said, always uh, he always repeats the same sentence, which you know I start to memorize. In the space, there is space for everyone. That's very nice because, uh, in a way, you open opportunity to everyone to be, let's say, involved with these projects and to create a sort of uh, momentum where many people feel is interested about the space, which, which is not the case normally. So it's important to have this sort of a strong passion and involve people in uh, in what you believe and what you like. I believe. Today is a milestone which I'm uh, truly proud of, both from a professional and a human point of view. I thank you all. And uh, this uh, uh, stream will be available uh, on uh, YouTube uh, also later on. So there will be also the, um, the add of the links to listen to the beautiful compositions that uh, were streamed. Thank you once again and see you up there.